Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the series, How to Use Pigments. This is video 32, and today we're talking about the BL20 flanger. Now, the manual says this emulates the sound of the Bell BF20, a rare flanger from the 1970s. Its sound is achieved by modulating a delayed version of your signal using an LFO. Now, basically, that's what we said in the last video, but this one is different because it's, mo it's emulating a flanger from the 1970s. Now, let's go to our FX tab and drop down menu here. It's at the very bottom next to the other flanger. Now, on the default preset of the flanger itself, let's drag the dry wet knob all the way to the right. And as before, on the synth side, we have one saw wave and eight voices of unison. So, on the last video, we talked about what a flanger is. It's basically just a delay line. So, we have your original signal, and then there's a copy of your original signal, and it's delayed by a certain amount, creating constructive and deconstructive phase interference. So, that's kind of what's giving, giving us the effect. Now, if our delay was too long, we would eventually notice that it's not really a flanger, so to speak. It is basically a copy of a signal. So it's two copies of the same signal. And as a quick recap, the flanger was created a long time ago with the tape reels where they would have a copy, uh, two copies of the same signal, and it was getting mixed down to one source. And the engineers would push down with their hands on the flanges of the tape, and it would slow down one side, and then they could do it to the other side, and so on and so forth. And that's how it was eventually created. So with that being said, all these knobs here should be familiar with you if you watched the last video. And basically we have our delay here. So this one's slightly different than the other flanger because this is a value from zero to one. Maybe that's how it was on the original piece of gear. I have never seen it, so I'm not sure, but this isn't necessarily measured in milliseconds to my knowledge. This looks like just zero to one. So definitely use your ears for that. And then over here we have our LFO, which is gonna be modulating the delay time. So we have rate in hertz, sync, sync triplets, and sync dotted. So you can just do it by hertz if you'd like to, or you can sync it up to your tempo if, if you so desire. Now we have our delay time, what we just talked about, and then our depth is basically gonna be controlling the depth of that LFO that's modulating the delay line. A little while to wrap your head around, but hopefully that makes sense. And then we have our feedback, which I find very interesting. So the copy of our signal that's getting delayed is coming out of that delay and going back into the flanger. So it's kind of making a little loop there. So it's feeding back into the flanger, something very interesting, I think. Now we have this wide, which is also interesting. This is selected by default on the default preset. And as we hover our mouse over this, this says inverts the phase of the LFO modulating the right channel. So let's take a listen to see what that sounds like. So this is off. and then on. It's very interesting because when it's off, we can almost see this uh, this sound like it's it's doing the flanging, what we're used to, but once we turn it on wide, we can definitely tell that the right channel is doing something a little bit different than the left channel is. And then last but not least, we have this mono input. So this is basically optimizing this module here depending on what your signal is. So if you have something coming in that's just a mono signal, like your, your patch is maybe just a straight up up and down sine wave or something, or I don't know what it is, maybe some, whatever it is that's mono, you might want to mono that up here for the flanger and it's gonna make it a little bit better optimized for your sound. But if you have a nice wide stereo sound and you want this BL20 flanger on your signal, then turn that off and yeah, it'll be a little bit better apparently that way. And that is the BL20 flanger in a nutshell. Flanging is very cool. The main thing to drive home is that it is different from a phaser. They sound similar, but remember that flanging is created with a delay line, whereas phasing is not. So that's the big difference between the two effects where they can sound a little bit similar, but they're actually done in very different ways. So hopefully that all makes sense and we will see you in the next video.